But with Tori's finished shark now foaming at the mouth, there's still four more parts to reel in. And down at the bomb range, it's time to take a shot at myth part two, the harpoon. What the heck? Whoa! Look at that. What I have right here is the actual prop from the movie Deep Blue Sea. Now, I know it looks like a harpoon gun, but it's actually a lion thrower that they've modified. They've added this tip and this cylinder. Now, since they've modified it, we're not going to be able to use this anymore. But we have this, a real working harpoon gun. And this is what we're going to use to test, to fire our harpoons into our shark to see if a harpoon will even go that far. And how far is far? Well, the range in the movie looked about to 100 feet. Damn. That's far. But before Tori takes aim and fires, here's some Harpoon 101. A harpoon gun is very similar to a rifle, but instead of a bullet, we're using a 38 special blank. Now, the blank, once fired, will create enough pressure to launch our harpoon, which is sleeved on the outside of the barrel, unlike a rifle where the bullet is inside the barrel. And this will hopefully launch our harpoon to our target. All right, we're ready to fire. We're loaded in three, two, one. exactly where the guy hit him in the movie. <laughs> I think I might have pinned his arm to the shark. <laughs> Looks like we've confirmed this part of the myth. You can shoot a harpoon over 100 feet and still hit your target. And we pin the dude to the shark. It's like double confirmed. I love this. All new Mythbusters, Wednesdays at 9 on Discovery.